Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Rumble, the mechanized menace. Rumble is a beefy melee caster, utilizing a unique resource system called Heat. All of Rumble's basic abilities cost 20 Heat, which cools back down to zero after not using any abilities for a short time. Rumble's passive is Junkyard Titan. If Rumble hits 100 Heat, he overheats, which gives him significant bonus damage on his basic attacks, but silences him until he cools back down to zero. Additionally, while Rumble stays 50 Heat and above, he enters the Danger Zone, which makes each of his non-ultimate abilities stronger. Rumble's first ability is Flame Spitter. Rumble burns enemies in a cone in front of him for 3 seconds. While in the Danger Zone, Flame Spitter deals bonus damage. Second is Scrap Shield. Rumble shields himself from damage for a short time and gains a temporary movement speed boost. While in the Danger Zone, the shield and movement haste are stronger. With Electro Harpoon, Rumble shoots out a skill shot nuke that damages and slows the first enemy it hits. Rumble then has a few seconds to cast the ability a second time for free, even if he overheats. The slows from these nukes stack, allowing you to hinder two opponents or severely slow one. The Danger Zone bonus for Electro Harpoon increases the damage and slow. Rumble's ultimate is the Equalizer. Rumble fires off a chain of missiles, damaging enemies in a line and leaving a trail of fire in its wake that damages and slows enemies standing on top of it. The Equalizer uses a new targeting type. Activate the ability, click and hold down your left mouse button on the origin point, then move your mouse and release when you're happy with how you're aiming the skill. You can cancel targeting by right-clicking. It doesn't really matter which direction you send the missiles, just be sure you paint the right area. For lack of a better term, Rumble should be a bully in lane. I get into a position where I can chase Misfortune. I open with Flame Spitter and Scrap Shield, leading into Electro Harpoon when I get in range. After she flashes, I chase with Ghost and another Flame Spitter cast. Be acutely aware of your heat gauge. I push onto Misfortune right at 75 heat with Flame Spitter. I wait in the brush for 75 heat again, pushing myself over with Electro Harpoon and Flame Spitter, finishing her off with the bonus damage from Junkyard Titan. Sinjao ganks me from the jungle. I run while waiting for overheating to end. Immediately, I create some distance with Scrap Shield, but knowing that I have to fight, I aim the equalizer such that he burns whether he chases me or runs. I wait until I create a little more distance before shooting an Electro Harpoon. Now there's almost no chance for him, so I chase him down with Flame Spitter for the kill. You always want to stay above 50 heat since your abilities are more powerful that way. Before even getting a breather, Alistair comes for me. Remaining in the danger zone, I shield myself and attempt to slow him with Electro Harpoon. I wait for my heat to reach 75 again, tossing out Electro Harpoon while still allowing me to cast Scrap Shield. Once Alistair commits to the turret, I attack him with the Junkyard Titan bonus damage. His trample takes me to one health before he dies. By staying at 50 to 55 heat, you have the ability to use all three of your regular skills in the danger zone, plus get the Junkyard Titan bonus damage. I close the gap with Misfortune using Scrap Shield. She does a great job dodging the first Electro Harpoon, but as soon as I land the second, I dive her with Flame Spitter and my Junkyard Titan damage, killing her from half health with just 60 ability power in items. I run into Brand and Sin Zhao at the top of the map. Once I know I've been caught, I lay down the Equalizer such that it will hit both my enemies. I bait Sin Zhao to stand in the area of effect as I blow all my cooldowns, causing overheat and killing him quickly. As Brand is now out of mana, I chase him with Scrap Shield and use Flame Spitter to slow him thanks to Riley's Crystal Scepter. I activate all of my abilities once more, picking up the kill on Bran, keeping me alive through Alistair, and overheating me as I run away. Before Alistair picks up the kill, Sona saves me and I walk away alive. Rumble synergizes well with Area of Effect teams. As we run away from a 3v4 fight, we see Fiddlesticks in his new Fiddle Me Timbers skin. As he charges Crowstorm, I drop the Equalizer along the enemy team, while Sona and Malphite also use their ultimates. Three enemies melt almost immediately, and we converge onto Alistair as I use Junkyard Titan to drop the remainder of his health. The Equalizer, combined with Riley's Crystal Scepter, puts out tons of crowd control. The enemy Nasus, sporting his new Dread Knight skin, is extremely farmed, requiring a lot of effort to kill. I drop the Equalizer on top of Nasus while also covering the main inlet into the teamfight. 
We kill Nasus thanks to Flamespitter and Junkyard Titan before any opponents get into range, which makes the rest of the fight really easy. I get into a team fight already in progress. I aim the equalizer to hit most of the enemy team, melting Sin Zhao and Brand almost immediately. I push on attempting more kills. Alistair drops while trying to shield Misfortune. Danger Zone Scrap Shield and Flame Spitter allow me to chase into her base, before turning to deal with Nasus. I run away from the turret while overheating, coming back with a Scrap Shield and Flame Spitter for the kill. I'm going to show Rumble's first few levels in lane while detailing my runes, masteries, ability order, and items. I take Magic Penetration Marks, Dodge Seals, Magic Resist per level Glyphs, and Flat Health Regeneration Quintessences, allowing me durability and damage at all stages of the game. My masteries are 9210, taking Ignite and Ghost as summoners, although I master neither. For skills, I max Flame Spitter first and Scrap Shield second, stopping to take a point in Electro Harpoon at level 3. For items, I open with Doran's Shield. I rush Mercury Treads and Riley's Crystal Scepter before getting some durability, with Sunfire Cape and Force of Nature. Finally, I grab Rabidin's Death Cap and Void Staff for more damage. Want to see these videos the second they come out? Then you should subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel. Please also leave us a comment below and rate this video. Thanks for tuning in to the Rumble Champion Spotlight, featuring Lee Sin, the Blind Monk. Now Rumble, is it getting hot in here, or is it just me? Hot, hot, hot!